is going on? It is Cujo Fools again. So, um, in our last few videos, I was searching for some Allosauruses, and I found a whole bunch of them, but I ended up killing them by mistake. Or, they were to attack me and I had no chance, no chance of surviving, so I ended up having to kill them. And I was super, super depressed about it. So I did one video of that, and of me fighting, um, and I discovered that the yellow, here, I'll show you. There's some yellow on the spine of these Allosauruses. Which one is it? One of them had it on it earlier, and that is not a sign that they're alphas. That's a sign that they're enraged and can com completely wreck your shit. Um, they, um, they do cause a bleeding effect if you are not careful with these guys. Um, so... I searched all over the map, and I found like a group of three of them, and I was super stoked. So I went to go tame them with my T-Rex, because I planned on perching, perching up on the T-Rex and taming them that way. And I went up there... Everything's in my way. And I went up there to tame them, and they had despawned. So... What... Okay, so they're going to attack me. Um, they will chase me, I guess. So we're going to try and outrun them, make them lose interest for a little bit. Um, I don't want to fight them because they will wipe the floor with my T-Rex, I think. I feel. I feel that's a thing. But anyway, I want to tame both of them if I can. If I can reach over there. It would help if my T-Rex didn't constantly move. Nope, that's not going to work. So, what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to get across here. I don't want to tranquilize them and then pass out in the water, but who knows what's going to happen right now. I should probably switch this chick to passive. That way, if I do happen to get attacked by them, and I'm going to have to wait till it's daytime, but anyway, so... I want to tame these guys and show you guys how to do all of that. Um, they are pretty crazy with their attacks and stuff like that. And they always travel in a pack. So if there's one, there's probably plenty more of them. One of them is usually always enraged or whatever, bloodthirsty, whatever effect that is. But it causes a bleeding effect for you if, they're, if you're attacked by it. So we're going to wait until daytime so I can see a little better. And then we're going to go ahead and try to attack tame both of them hopefully um hopefully they're a mating pair so we can try and breed them at some point in time anyway you guys so this here is snowball she was the first t-rex i tamed um you guys saw me tame the other one a couple episodes ago when i was on the mountainside trying to tame an allosaurus and ended up killing a whole bunch of them with my raptor um, but anyway, so she is queen bee around here. Hopefully we can get some things going today and finally tame a damn Allosaurus. Like, it's been a thing. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Alright, it looks like it's getting ready to... Yeah, it's starting to light up a little bit. Yeah, I have the nighttime speed, like, as fast as possible because I hate it. I hate running around at nighttime out here. Hopefully those Allosauruses are still right over here and didn't, like, run off too far. I know they will attack snowballs pretty quickly, um, but her health is pretty beastly, so she should be okay. I want it to light up quickly, please, so that way I can see. They did go off in this direction. I don't want to hurt them. I want to tame them. So, hopefully we can get that chance to do that today. Um, there's one right here. Okay, so this one is doing some damage to me, too. Yeah, you better run, you little shit. Alright, that one's down. And this one is taking a lot. Alright, awesome! We got both of them. How bad were you hurt? Okay, 
So snowball's okay. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Uh, this mist is really going to suck. Okay, so we're going to try and... So he broke my boots. That's okay. Let's check the torpor on these guys, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be crazy. I hope it's not super bad. Oh, no, it's not. We're good. I was over here thinking their torpor was going to be crazy. Alright, so this guy's got some meat on him. I'm going to be careful. There we go. So we can see you. So this is a male. And this is a female. Awesome, so we got a mating pair. Hopefully we can tame both of them. And get that going. By the way, you guys, if you are struggling taming something because you don't have a flyer or something, a T-Rex is pretty awesome because it'll work as a stand for you. If you have it in passive, it's not going to hurt anything. And most of the time, actual other creatures won't try to attack it. Okay, so we're going to chop this way. And that. That way we can see both of them. Now let's get a look at close up of these guys. Look at those teeth. Um, if I could climb on top of it. Nope, this one's... Let's see if I can get on this one. I might just have to hop up on Snowball and get up close to these guys. Come here, Snowball. Yeah, just look at these guys. They look like a, like I had said in the previous video of these guys. They look like a mix of Raptor and Giga. Um, they are pretty quick too. So if you do use a T-Rex, make sure that they have amazing health and possibly anything else that can be used to keep you alive. Alright. So I want to give them plenty of meat in case they do like wake up. And tame, and that way they don't, like, cause me any problems. I should get them some prime meat, but I haven't done that yet, and I should probably get on that. There we go. Yeah, their torpor isn't too bad. I should probably go get some narcos soon. I do have some narcotics on me, thankfully. Um, since the I this is my own server, the, um, taking them down wasn't too hard for me. Um, so if you do play in like a PvP server or a PvE server, it's probably going to be a little more difficult to take them out with a bunch of Trank Arrows. So make sure you have exactly what you need to go out and try and tame these guys. Because, like I said, they're pretty, they're pretty mean and they're very aggressive and they will kill you. Luckily for me, I didn't die this time. I tried taming a golem earlier this morning and died multiple times trying to do that. So. Most of it was off camera, thankfully. Alright, let's see if we can clear up right in front of her face. Okay. These guys might not be the most awesome of predators and stuff like that, but if you have more than one of them, just like you would with a raptor, if you have more than one, they can g do some serious damage. Alright, don't step on it. Okay, we're gonna take this guy out. Thirty-two prime meat, awesome. That's probably the vertebra. I don't worry about it too much right now. Okay, we'll try and go up the table. There we go. We'll give these guys some prime meat and that should boost up their taming fairly quickly. I don't know what's making that purring sound. I don't know if it's these guys just like super happy they're getting fed or what. It's kind of freaking me out. 
Okay. So this guy's got some prime meat. He can nom noms on that. I'm like super, super paranoid of being over here because this is the exact place I found the first two and took one of them out and then I had um, taken down a male but there was a brano that he had attacked and it was trying to kill him. So I tried fighting that and ended up killing the other one as well. Um, this is on a side of a mountain like I just said and it is full of predators. Here. I'll show you guys on the map where this is this is so that way you know we're right yeah we're right here um, right at the mouth of this river here that will lead out into the ocean um, this is also where a whole bunch of like dark sand and ash and stuff is so it's pretty easy to find um, I don't know if you'll find these kind is this on Xbox one yes it is Let's see here. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, look how fast he's taming now. I need to bump up his torpor some more. Okay. I'll probably grab some more narco berries. So we finally have two allosauruses down. That is super cool. And I'm super stoked that they're a mating pair too. I'm not sure yet if I will breed them. That it might be a future video. I'm doing good. How about you? Let's see here. There we go. Hopefully that'll be enough to keep them going. Oh, that's an RG on the other side. We're good. This one isn't taming as fast, but I'm sure once she eats some primate, that'll change. <gasps> I'm alright. Are you enjoying Ark? Yes, I am. I finally caught two things that I've been searching for all morning. Oh, these guys were a pain in the butt, but I am super stoked. Let's see here. I should have probably bought a, brought a trike with me too, so that way I could clear out all this vegetation. Might as well look for that book bag over here. There it is. Yeah, there's the vertebra. Ugh. Assholes. There we go. Well, what games are you excited for this year? Okay, so I was super excited for um, South Park Fractured Butthole, but that got delayed till next year. Um, excited for the Skyrim remaster, and there's just a whole bunch of them. I'm actually excited for Infinite Warfare, too. I know it's probably not going to be that great, but the Call of Duty 4 remaster is going to be pretty sweet, and I'm super excited for that. Here we go. We're going to dope you up some more. Um, let's see, what other games are coming out? Um, Battlefield 1. I played some of the beta and I thought it was cool, but, um, they were having a thing going on during the beta about, um, the weather being based on client, um, servers, not just the entire game itself. So while somebody was experiencing a sandstorm during a game, uh, other people weren't and they were getting picked off really easily, which really upset me. So hopefully that gets fixed, but I'll definitely be getting that game as well. Um... I feel like I'm missing out on some. Oh yeah, Gears of War 4 too. That's going to be pretty sweet. I'm excited for all of those. Oh, it's night time again. Let's see here. Meh! Hurry up. There we go. No, I don't want to. Alright, so this guy's pretty close to Tammy, which is pretty awesome. Let's check on his companion over here. She's about ready. Really excited for Titanfall 2 and Battlefield 1. The pause menu in Battlefield 1 beta was really glitchy and annoyed me so much. Oh, yes, I remember that. I only played a couple of matches because of that kind of stuff. It made me really mad, but like like you said, it's a beta, so hopefully 
they get the, all of that fixed. Um, I actually have never played Titanfall before, so I might get that game and test it out and see how it is. I was going to play it, the beta, but I just ran out of time. It was, like, right around my birthday, too, so I didn't have a chance. I was out doing things with the family. There we go. Alright, so the female might tame before the male, which is cool. That's fine. I just hope she doesn't try to eat him. What the hell? Oh, Snowball was pushing me into the back of its head. It's kind of unbelievable that a game of Battlefields 1 scale can play at 60 FPS. Yeah, I know, right? That's kind of, that's kind of what I thought, too. I was like, wow. Interesting. Um, let's see here. There we go. I should probably go get more prime meat for these guys. The other is already spoiled. No, this one's fine. We're good. She just has to eat one more time and she should be tame. Oh. Well, late. Happy birthday, then. Hope you got the presents you wished for. I did. I got Attack on Titan. I was so happy. All right, we tamed an Allosaurus. This is the female one that we had just taken out. Um, You know what we're going to name her? We're going to name her Allie. <laughs> so creative, right? There we go. Okay. There we go. And thanks for the birthday wish. Look how cool she is. She's kind of scary looking, not going to lie. I instantly think of Jurassic Park when I see something like this. Okay, so we're going to let her just chill here for a second. Hopefully she doesn't try to eat this guy. Oh, he's about ready to tame too. This will be cool. Oh my god, I love her. <laughs> I do too. She's so cool. I hope I can make a saddle really quickly. In fact, let's look at the um, saddle in grams real quick and see what all we need for her. Um, a... Uh-oh. Let's see here. Okay, so an Allosaurus saddle requires 35 ingram points and... Um, her saddle has to be crafted at the smithy, so I can I can ride her, but I won't be able to right now because I don't have a saddle, and I need to get more ingram points. I'm about ready to level up, and it's like right there on the brink of leveling up, but not close enough to where I can unlock new stuff. Oh, man. Oh, he, he woke up. Yay. Okay, we're going to name him... See here. <laughs> yes, Alan and Allie. <laughs> yeah, you can actually ride these guys, and they're super fast. So it will be awesome once once I get these guys um, saddled up and stuff. I'll show everybody what they're like. As of right now, the only one I can actually ride is Snowball. We're going to increase her carrying weight. I think. Well, don't get all up in my face. Yeah, these guys are pretty quick at catching up. Oh, is Allie stuck? Let's see here. Yeah, she's stuck on a tree. I will free you, my friend. Okay. Nope, she's stuck on this one, too. I don't want to hit you. I'm sorry! I didn't mean to hit you! Okay, let's go. Don't hate me. What did I... Oh, all that wood. There we go. Yay! Okay. So now we're going to head back to my base and get these guys all situated in. Um, don't judge me by my base, you guys. Like I said, I just got this. Can you get them to attack while riding them? Here, I'll show you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, if it'll, if it'll work. Let's see here. 
Okay. So usually... <laughs> oh my god! Savage. Yeah, if you use the spyglass and you whistle attack target, they attack that right there. Yeah. Tear them up. Alright. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get these guys back to my base. Um, I'm still in the process of building my base. It's like half st stone, half wood, so... Once I get my base all made and stuff, it'll look really cool. Are you both following me? Yeah. Ugh, there are so many trees in here. I need to go through and clear this out. Thankfully, none of my T-Rexes have gotten stuck on it. This game is awesome. Should I get it? Um, you can if you want to. Um, Ark is... I think it's $35. It is a game preview still, so... Um, it'll have some, like, glitches and stuff like that, but nothing too serious. And then, um, some DLC just came out for it. And, um... It was, like... 20 bucks, I think. But yeah, it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Oh my god, look at these guys. Alright, so let's see how... how tiny I am compared to these guys. Yeah, look at that. I get eaten so quickly. But yeah, this game is pretty sweet. I'm glad I got these guys finally. Like I said, I've been trying to tame them all morning as <laughs> it worked out for me. I am so excited. Um, anyway, you guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, and if you guys want to hang out on ARC, just hit me up, and I will totally be down to hang out on ARC. Does the frame rate hold up? I heard it runs on Revolution 4. Yes, it does. It holds up most of the time. Um, be careful. Uh, here, I'll show you. On my stats, down here it has uh, movement speed. It has, yeah, it's got a blur that, um, a movement blur that you can choose whether or not to use, and, uh, it will be in your options menu, but anyway, um, so, if you look at my stats, I have movement speed right below melee damage, you have to be very careful about your movement speed, otherwise, um, the game will glitch a lot more, and it's like that with the dinosaurs, too, so, just be careful about, um, evening out all of your stats and stuff like that before you get the game. Um, so yeah. Anyway, you guys, I will be posting this video on YouTube after I finish streaming it. And um, if you guys have any questions about the game or about these guys right here, um, go ahead and post them and I will answer you as soon as possible. Um, for now, I think I'm going to call it quits on this stream. Um, gonna hang out with Allie and Alan some more and anyway you guys I will see you all next time so thanks for watching and stick around for more bye